All right, we're back here with uh, Michelle. Michelle, read the next one. We got another adjusting entry. Yasmin, yeah, I mean, listen to this one. I'm going to ask you about this one. Depreciation for the month is $100. Depreciation for the month is $100, Yasmin. Is that cumulated depreciation? That's one of the accounts. What do we look, but here's what we ask ourselves on a test. Am I looking for a revenue or an expense? We erase that, Miss uh, Michelle, because we ask ourselves on a test situation. Now, your teacher doesn't teach it this way, which is why this, you're on my website. Michelle, on the test, we say to ourselves, Yasmin, am I looking for a revenue or an expense? That's what we say to ourselves. What's an expense? An expense. What kind of an expense? Which one are you talking about? Read it again to him. Depreciation for the month is $100. What kind of expense? Which entry is that? Adjustment. Just adjusting entry. For the month. Depreciation for the month is? Salary expense? No. What kind of expense, Michelle? Tell him. I was going to say depreciation expense. Depreciation expense. Write down the word depreciation expense. So you're going to quit it accumulated depreciation. That's true. He's right. But again, what we want to do is get the expense down first. Is expense increasing or decreasing, Michelle? It's the increasing. It's increasing. Why? Why is it increasing? Because it's a verb. That's right. Depreciation means it's getting old. It's a truck. It's equipment. It's getting used. If you see the definition of uh, expense verb in the class, she won't accept it. She won't. That's why. Last time it was the verb, so you have to debit it. She said, no, it's not a... No. It is no. a verb. It is a verb. I, the technical definition is to use an asset, comma, in the pursuit of profit. Look it up in your book, though, but that's just, that, is, that should be legal sufficiently good. And now, ex, but the, again, after many years, I've concluded it is indeed, an, it's definitely a verb. Okay? So now, expense means use an asset. What asset do you think is getting used up? Um, uh, it's not accumulated. Well, that's right. The other account is accumulated depreciation. The point being, though, the asset that's getting used up is what, Michelle? Or yeah, what asset's getting used up, though? The, uh, is for a month? What asset, though? Is it a supply? Nope, equipment. Supplies get used. Oh, well, we use depreciation. Equipment for? is like a building, or a tractor trailer, or a, or a table, or a computer. It gets old from time because time is passing or because it's driving to California every week. Like a car, it depreciates, a physical asset, okay? So, what they do is, Michelle's now posting it up. She has to correct adjusting entries. She has to correct adjusting entries. All right, now what we're gonna do here in a second, I'm gonna give you guys a test on adjusting entries, what I'm gonna do in a second. Cause we got to move on. Got a lot of stuff she got to learn. You guys got to learn tonight. So, did my friend leave? No, he went outside. Okay. You got to do that's Atlantic City rules. No, no phones. You got to go outside to use phones. All right. Did you put it on the right side. That's right. The right side is the normal side. So this new balance is going to be six hundred. The point I was making, Michelle, is you see, here's what I'm saying, Michelle, is this. Michelle, can I see that for a second? See, we could do this, Matt. If I put this number over here, it would work. So, but the reason they have this account is to give more information. This is the historical cost, and this is how much got used up in the, and so far, approximately. Because it is an approximation. If your hands get dirty, we could call a timeout, um, Michelle. Because sometimes, yeah, with that thing, it can be so. Okay, so that's, we got one more adjusting entry before you guys take a test on adjusting entries. Unearned service revenue of 1,100. Unearned service revenue of X amount of dollars. This is usually the one they're gonna get wrong. You guys mean, unearned. what does it say again? It says unearned. Uh, service re revenue of 1,150 is earned. Uh, 1,150 was earned. So it was payable, the abilities. True. What's, well, okay, here's what we ask ourselves on a test, though. On the test, we ask ourselves, what's the question one we ask, Michelle, in adjusting entries? What do we ask ourselves? If it's earned or not. We ask if it's revenue or an expense. It's earned, right? Is it a revenue or an expense, Michelle? Re Correct answer. So write down the word revenue. Okay, on the test, you can fix it. Now, is revenue increasing or decreasing? Increasing. It, why? Because it's a verb. That's why. 
Okay, debit or credit. Look, if you're not sure, look at your T account. Whoa, look at your T account, Michelle. See your T account revenue? That one? That's right, revenue. You said, you said it's increasing. Is the plus on the right or the left? The left. It's right. On the right. So be a credit? That's right. Okay. Now, the reason I did that, what accounting teachers don't understand when you're teaching this stuff. You've got to put the debit first. And you do it. have to, but if, you get a, if, if I was to tell her every account, she'll start assuming that and putting it as a debit first. You follow me? Yeah. So that's why I don't do it like that. So you don't, so you follow me? You understand that, Michelle? Yes. Okay. What's the other account, do you think, here, uh, Michelle? It was an earned service. It Read it to him, Matt. Unearned service revenue of 1,150 is earned. What's the other account? Um, what is it, Yasmin? Tell her. It's unearned service. Unearned. We'll call it services payable, though, here. On the test, you do have to call it unearned revenue. Here, we're going to call it, what it so to remind you that it is a, um, it is a, uh, Liabilities. The service payable. Let me ask you a question, Michelle. You see the service payable? Uh -huh. Is that account getting bigger or smaller after I perform service? Do I owe more service or less service after I perform less. less service? So it's decreasing debit or credit. Correct answer. See the minus on the left? That's why it is. Okay. That's the correct adjusting entry. Post that up, and then we've now concluded our. Now what we would do. She's got the right adjusting entries. The adjusting entries are correct, yes, I mean. Yeah. All right, so now what you guys are going to do is take a little test. Yes. Okay, we'll see how you guys could do. And what we're going to do now, the right side that carries on, Michelle. Michelle's going to just take a break and wash her hands. Because that thing, you got to be careful because you can touch your clothes with it. Now, what we're going to do. We're going to pick a problem out, we're going to give them a test and we'll be right back with you. Those are, so she did pretty good. Service revenue. 